Brandon Weeby back here with HTTV for another week of news. So we're just gonna jump right in right off the bat and have Grace's interview going up with the elementary schoolers. So here's Grace on that. Right. Now I am here with Sydney Stoner and Sydney, what are your plans for Easter? Going to Linda Smith's. What do you think you're gonna do there? Are you gonna have like an Easter egg hunt or Well we might just stay inside and have an Easter and Easter hunt inside because it's going to be really cold. Oh, that sounds like fun. Um, are you planning on going to the circus? Yes. Yeah? What's your favorite part about the circus? When they mo when when a girl stands in a cage and then they ride around her and, and then they're like going circles. Oh, yeah. I, I love going to the circus ever since I was little. Um, let's see. What are you learning about in class right now? Fractions. Fractions? Do you like fractions? Yeah. Yeah? Or do you think they're easy? Yeah, they're way too easy. Oh, really? <laughs> um, what are you learning? What are you doing that's up on the wall right now? Can you explain that to me a little bit? We're, like, right now we're doing um, Easter, like, what we're doing, like, what, like, if, about the frog thing, if our, if our teacher turned into a frog, we had to explain what that did, or, or we had to explain what, what would be, like, like, what do you like about spring? Oh, what do you like about spring? Like how it's really nice on you. You can go swim in your pool if you have them. Yeah, I am excited for the weather to get better. Well, thank you for letting me interview you. I am here with Rayanna Nock. And Rayanna, are you going to the circus? I think so. You think so? What is your favorite part about the circus? Riding the elephants and seeing all the cool tricks the circus people have to do. Yeah, I remember riding the elephant when I was, when I was little. That was really fun, too. Um, let's see, what are your plans for this weekend for Easter? We're gonna go to our grandma duties and then and dye Easter eggs and have an Easter egg hunt. And I'm not sure if we're gonna go to my dad's mom and dad for Easter. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, are you gonna have an Easter egg hunt, do you think? I don't know. You don't know? Do you like having Easter egg hunts? Yeah. Are you gonna go to the one at church and get a lot of fun Easter eggs? Yeah. Yeah, I filled, I helped fill those, so there's some good stuff in there. Let's see. So, um, what's your favorite part about Easter? My favorite part about Easter is when I get to open the eggs and there's a, f there's a bunch of fun surprises. Yeah, the candy and toys, I, that's so much fun. All right, well, thank you for interviewing with me today. All right, and now I am with Riley Knock. And, Riley, what are your plans for this Easter weekend? Um, we're, we might go to my grandma's house for an Easter egg hunt and Easter dinner. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Do you think you might do an Easter? Oh, wait, you just told me you're going to do an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> um, are you planning on going to the circus? Yeah. Yeah, what is your favorite part about the circus? The Chicago Boys Acrobats. Oh, I have never seen that. That sounds cool. Um, let's see, what is something cool that you're doing or learning in class right now? Poppy posters. Poppy posters, can you explain that to me a little bit? We um, are drawing posters for the American Legion Auxiliary. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Are you going to send them to them, or are you hanging them up in the hall? We might send them to them. Yeah. Well, that's awesome that you're spending your time in doing that. Well, thank you. Thanks, Grace. Unfortunately, she can't be with me today because she is at home sick. So... Some seniors in Ms. Copeland's class went to Dolan for a science fair recently, and we got Caleb and Zach to tell us about their project. Um, here's my interview with them. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so I'm here with Caleb and Zach, asking them about the science fair that they just went to. So why did you guys go to the science fair this year? We went because we have never been offered this opportunity to be in a science fair, so we just thought it would be something to do in our last year. All right, and what did you guys do? Uh, we tested three different types of skyscrapers. One was a triangle base, circular base, and a rectangle base. And we tested wind forces with them to see which one can withstand the most wind. All right, and what place did you guys get? Uh, we placed first place overall throughout our school and third place throughout Doland, the colony that is located by Doland and our school. All right, and then last but not least, what advice do you guys have for the next year's uh, science, tech, science fair participants. Uh, my advice to those kids would be make sure you do a project that you're going to enjoy and have fun with because if you're going to do a project that you aren't going to enjoy then you're not going to put more put forth much effort so you want to be able to do something that you're going to enjoy. Alright, anything else to say? 
All right, thank you. Now on for this week's senior spotlight. It's actually going to be me and Grace interviewing each other at the same time. So it was a lot to film. I hope you enjoy. I am Gracie and I am here with Brandon Weeby and he is this week's Senior Spotlight. Now, Brandon, what activities were you involved in at Hitchcock Tulare? Um, well, I'm involved in student council. I was involved in basketball and track. I also did, let's see, I'm in journalism and I've been part of Honor Society and Honor Roll. Awesome. And do you plan to continue any of those activities? Um, I hope to be on honor roll at college, but uh, I don't plan on doing any extra sports, no. Okay, and uh, where are you planning to go to school and why? I am planning on going to school at University of Kansas. Um, I grew up down in Kansas and it was just a great school that I saw impacting a lot of people's lives at my old school. So I decided to give it a really nice visit and I just fell in love with the campus and its size, it's a very large school and I fell in love with the classrooms and the teachers and all of the different things it has to offer. It's just a really great school. Awesome. And what are you planning on majoring in? Um, at KU, I'll be planning on majoring in pre-health and pre-medicine. Um, I planned on majoring in this because I love helping people and medicine has really just been something I've been interested in. And after that, I hope to get my anesthetics degree. So. Awesome. Um, what are you looking forward to most after graduation? After graduation, I'm really just uh, looking forward to putting myself out there and getting to know a lot more people than I did in high school. Um, I feel like in high school, we're all kind of just stuck with each other for mm -hmm. four years. So it'll be nice to get out and meet new people. All right, and who will you miss the most from a Hitchcock dealer? I'll definitely miss all the friends I've made, uh, like Grace, Bailey, Caleb, Cameron, Tyler, Ali. Yeah, I just I'm gonna miss them so much. Yeah, and what is something that your classmates don't know about you? Um, something my classmates don't know about me is, let's see, what is it? Um, I'm a Democrat, so there you go. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. Hey, it's Brandy. I'm here with this week's uh, Senior Spotlight, Grace Erickson. So what activities were you involved in at Hitchcock Tuller, and do you plan on continuing these after school? Um, I was in, for my first semester being here, I was in FFA, and then I was in FCCLA, still am student council. I was a uh, football manager, a girls basketball manager, and then I was in track also. So where are you planning on going to school at and why? Um, I plan on going to Black Hill State and I just really love the campus out there. It's beautiful and it's small and it just seems perfect for me. So what are you majoring in? Um, I'm going to major in human services and then with that I'm going to go into criminal justice. Alright, and so why did you choose that major? Um, I chose that major mostly because it just kind of fits what I want to do. For a long time now, I wanted to work in human services or social services and just being able to like help families out. And so. All right, so what are you looking forward to most after graduation? Uh, I am looking forward most to pushing myself and going far from home. I'm usually kind of a homebody, and so this will really get me out of my comfort zone, but it would be nice to still have my brother and sister-in-law who live an hour away. So who will you miss most from HD? There's not just one person, there's many people I'll miss, like all of my best friends here. I've Ever since moving here, I've made some really close friends. And so I'll miss like Brandon and Bailey and Caleb and Cameron and Tyler, and just kind of all of my classmates, really. And then last but not least, what's something your classmates don't know about you? Um, something that they probably don't know about me is that uh, I, or my mom has a 22 year old pet tarantula, so. All right, well thank you. We'll get to the next Senior Spotlight next week. All right, thank you. I think that wraps up this week of news. So signing off, I'm Brandon Weeby. Stay classy, Hitchcock Tuller.